Good morning to you guys. This is how every morning should start with bacon and eggs and rye bread. Yes, rye bread. It's a very finished thing. It looks gross, but it's delicious. If you're coming to Finland, try it out. I can't talk and chew at the same time, so let's go to the intro. Breakfast was delicious, and now I'm ready to start another episode on the channel. Today we're going to be specifically talking about drones and six tips how to get cinematic footage. I think the amazing thing about drones is that it's literally opened up the game for all filmmakers. You know, before you actually had to literally go rent a helicopter to go get some aerial footage. But now, anyone can go buy a drone, they can learn how to film and get epic footage for their films. So, it's opened up the platform for everybody and put us all on an even playing ground. But even though everyone has drones, it doesn't mean that everyone's getting cinematic footage. And I believe that today these tips will help you to get cinematic footage with your drones. So tip number one is film at 24 frames per second. Filming at 24 frames per second is going to give you that cinematic footage like your favorite Hollywood films like Interstellar or Inception. It's just perfect for the eyes to see. If you want to film slow motion footage such as 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second, simply just modify and interpret the footage in Premiere from 60 or 120 down to 24 so you still got cinematic look of 24 frames per second but it's also slowed down. It's super easy. Tip number two, make sure you always film with a flat picture profile. What does this mean? Basically, whenever you're filming with camera or a drone, there's always a picture profile that you can choose. And if you leave it just as standard, it's kind of like just leaving a certain filter preset on your footage and not having the freedom to choose afterwards. But when you film with a flat picture profile, you're giving yourself a chance in post to be able to grade it in whatever direction that you like to take it. Especially when it comes to sharpening. You don't want the drone to do all the sharpening. Rather, you want to have the control yourself and do sharpening in post and then decide how much sharpening you want and how much you don't want. When it comes to settings, I like to use the D Cine like because that's a really flat picture profile that you can use when you're filming. Tip number three, use an ND filter. So what is an ND filter? When I think of ND filters, I think of when I'm at the dentist and there's a super bright light in your eyes and they put those little sunglasses on your eyes. It's basically just to make it not as bright. That's what ND filters do for drones. By using an ND filter, you can then keep the shutter speed double of what your frame rate is. For example, if you're filming at 24 frames per second, you can then put the shutter at 50. But if you're not using an ND filter, you don't have that choice and you have to just boost up the shutter super high. When you film with a really high shutter, you get these little micro jitters and it's just not as cinematic of a look. By filming double what the frame rate is, you're getting that perfect motion blur to get that epic cinematic footage that you want from your drones. So make sure you're using an ND filter in order to keep the shutter down so that you can keep the shutter double what the frame rate is. Tip number four to get cinematic footage with your drone is to do slow movements. I remember when I first got my drone, I always flip way too fast to thinking that this is gonna look good. And then when I get to my computer to edit, I realized that the footage was way too fast. It didn't look good at all. I just had to slow it down so much more. So when you're filming with your drone, make sure you're doing nice, smooth, cinematic shots. Circling around someone or following someone at a nice, slow pace. And also, a rule of thumb is, that the closer you are to your subject, the slower you should go. And the farther you are away from it, the faster you can go. For example, if you're just following a person walking, you want to film really slow. But if you're following a car from really high up, you're probably gonna have to fly pretty fast. But make sure you don't fly so fast that your propellers show in the shot, because that's the worst. The footage, it's totally ruined. Tip number five, make sure you film at the right time of day. When you're filming during the daytime, the light is quite harsh and there's a high dynamic range between the brights and the darks, meaning you're gonna get a lot of blown out areas, but you're not gonna get those darks captured well. So essentially, film during sunrise or sunset, there's not going to be as much difference from the brights to the darks, meaning that these small sensors that the DJI cameras have are going to do better. Because the sensors aren't huge on most of the drones, the dynamic range isn't that great. So by filming at sunrise or sunset, you're giving your camera more of a chance to capture the footage well. And 
tip number six, the final tip of the day to get cinematic footage with your drones is film different angles. Sometimes when you're filming with your drone, you can get it just stuck in the same old shot. Follow, follow forwards, follow forwards again. And it kind of just gets a little bit repetitive. So in order to get cinematic footage, try different angles out. And the way you can help yourself do this is plan them out beforehand. Because battery life is usually around 15, 20 minutes, you don't have too much time to film. But if you plan it out well, you can do all the different kind of shots that you need. You can do a follow shot from behind, a follow shot from front, film from the side, do those basic shots, and then get a little bit more creative, maybe spin around the subject. Maybe then you can get even more wild and do a follow shot while panning the camera up. You know, the opportunities are limitless. There's so many different kinds of cinematic shots you can do. So don't get stuck doing just the same old shot. Rather, try out different angles. And one tip to help you is, use both your thumb and your finger on the joystick. I noticed that when I'm flying the joystick, and I use my thumb and my index finger on the joystick, I can do much more precise turns when I'm trying to do a shot around somebody. It's a great way to use the thumb and the index finger together on the joystick. So try that out. I'm sure it'll help you when you're trying to do more cinematic shots. So there you go guys, six tips to get more cinematic footage from your drone. I'm sure this will be super helpful for you guys. Go out, film with your drones, make some videos, link them below. I'd, I'd love to see what kind of footage you're getting with your drones. And guys, life's too short. Go and explore. Don't just sit inside all day long. Go out, explore your city, explore your country. Go on a trip. Do something exciting because life's too short. And I also want to just thank all the new subscribers to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe here. Just click this button, you'll be subscribed to the channel, and you'll get all the latest videos updated to you.